So you've been asked to find some scholarly articles, and not just any scholarly articles, but specific types, a review article and primary research articles. But what are these different scholarly articles, and furthermore, what does scholarly even mean? Watch this video to learn more about scholarly research and the different kinds of articles that are published within a particular field of study. Let's start with that concept of scholarly articles. Another way we can refer to this is peer-reviewed or refereed. In academic publishing, the goal of peer review is to assess the quality of articles submitted for publication in an academic journal, such as this one, the American Journal of Sports Medicine. Before an article is deemed appropriate to be published in a peer-reviewed journal, it must undergo the process of being peer-reviewed. The author of the article submits it to a journal for publication and those journal's editors then forward the article to experts within the field of study. These experts are considered the author's peers, hence peer review. The review process checks for quality, accuracy, and validity of the research methodology and procedures presented in the article. They submit recommendations and changes to the author, who must then make these edits before the article can be accepted for publication. Articles will not be published until it has been through the peer review process, edits have been made, and the peer review team signs off on the article. That's why peer-reviewed or scholarly research is considered to exemplify the best research practices in the field. There are different types of peer-reviewed articles depending on the kind of research being done by the author. Let's discuss two types, primary research articles and review articles. Primary research articles are where the authors of the article conducted their own original research in a clinic, laboratory, or out in the field, etc. The published article is the detailed write-up of the research the author conducted during their study. There are different kinds of primary studies. Other terminologies for describing different kinds of studies include experimental studies, clinical trials, empirical studies, and more. Review articles, also called literature reviews or secondary sources, synthesize human research on a particular topic and analyze this research to discover possible trends or areas for further study in the field. Review articles summarize the current state of research on a particular topic. But how do you know which is which? Library databases such as PubMed, Medline, or Academics to Ultimate make the process of finding peer-reviewed articles very easy with the peer-reviewed checkbox present on most database search pages. The trick is then recognizing what kind of research article you are looking at once you run a search. We can use an article's language or the terminology used by the authors and even the way the article is structured to help us get at an idea of what kind of research article we're looking at. Let's start with primary research. It's all in the language. Review the abstract of the article and the introduction. Look for language such as, in this study, or we conclude, or the results of this study. This we language is a good indication that the authors who wrote the article were also the primary researchers in the study. It's also in the structure. Primary research articles usually follow a structure that is designed to take the reader from start to finish of the conducted study. Look for the following components in the article itself. Introduction, literature review, methods and methodology, results, discussion, conclusion, or references. Not all primary research articles will have this exact combination of parts, but it should always report on methodology used for the study and provide a results section reporting on the data gathered. Now let's look at a review article. You can almost tell if this is a review article by what's not included in the abstract of the articles versus what is. Notice there is no mention of methodology of an actual study conducted. Instead, it talks about the field of research as a whole, and it talks about how there is room for more research in this field. The authors of this paper did not conduct original primary research. Why are review articles helpful? You might be tempted to think that because a review article is not original research, then it's not valuable. But that's not true. Review articles are excellent sources for learning what the scholarly conversation is around a particular topic. Review articles provide a great summary of the current research so that you can then ask yourself, where are the gaps of this field of research? Where might I be able to contribute something new? Or you might decide you want to go and find some of this primary research mentioned in the review articles to learn more about how this study was conducted. There are lots of options for how you might use this information. So now it's your turn. Here is another abstract of an article. Tell me what you think. Is this a primary research study where the authors conducted their own study and then produced their finding on the scholarly article? Or is it a review article that summarized the current literature out there on a particular topic? Take a look at the abstract.
Okay, so this one was tricky. Remember, we learned that the structure can tell you a lot about what kind of an article it is. You may have noticed that the structure of this article looks a lot like a primary research study. It's got an intro, methodology, results, discussion, and more. But let's take a closer look at that methodology. It says, a search was conducted for controlled trials using the databases Medline, Embrace, and more. They are describing how they searched for all the articles included in their review, the even men the databases used. So you can use all the clues that are embedded in the language or the structure of the articles to determine what you're looking at. Use databases such as Academic Search Ultimate or Medline to find these review studies and use what you can for your research.